Hi guys, welcome to another video. As the title suggests, we're going to look at landing nets today and the landing nets I use is something which I get asked about on a very, very regular basis. So I thought I'd just do a quick video showing you what landing nets I've got and when I use them. So my go-to number one landing net really is this. It's a, as you can, you can see why as well, that I use, love this for roving. It's absolutely fantastic. Decent size net, decent length of handle on it and it folds up to very small, as you can see. This is a Graze Prowler safe system net. Folds out, as you can see, to be a decent size triangular net. Got rubberized mesh as well, and it's got decent size handle on it, which a lot of folding nets don't have. This is 2.4 meters overall, so eight foot from the draw cord to the end of the handle so this is very useful and I'll say this is my go-to net lovely quick and easy to fold down fold up when you're roving and as I say rubberized mesh so dries very quickly and it uh, doesn't stink you stink the place out stink your car out <laughs> now if I need something with a longer handle than that or with a larger net say I'm going chub fishing and perhaps doing a bit of roving but I'm thinking maybe I'll catch two or three chub in a swim before I move on. Obviously, I don't want to return them to the swim because they'll spook the shoal. So what I do in that instance is I use this. This is a Guru Specimen Dual 600. Round net, as you see, it doesn't fold or anything. It's just a round standard net, standard mesh, but lovely and deep, as you can see. So it's a good net for when you want to retain fish. Just for a short while, we're only talking perhaps 15, 20 minutes at the most just while you perhaps get the most out of a swim. Um, retain a, the a fish or two in there, rest them up, and then let them go and move on. Now, I couple that with an NGT XPR three meter net handle. Now, I love this because as you can see, it's there, it's a meter long, but it's actually threaded in here. So we've got two lots of threads, so it's nice and secure. So you can run it out, run it at two meters as well. Or the reason I like it is that I can run it at three meters, which I find very, very useful when I'm fishing with perhaps longer rods, perhaps my 15 foot float rod. You need a longer landing net handle just because of the length of the rod. It makes landing fish much easier. So as you can see, three meters long. It works great. You can keep it as I often do. Just push down like that, next to you on the bank. And then when it's time to land the fish, you just shoot it out, land the fish. Very, very useful, I find that very useful. And also not too bad for roving as well, as the, you know, bearing in mind, it screws back together really easily. A Couple of turns on there and you're ready to go. Now there is one other net I use with this same handle when I'm targeting bigger fish, say barbel. And that is this net here. Now, sometimes I toss up whether I use this or whether I use the Gray's Prowler. If I'm roving, perhaps with a 12 foot rod, doing some ledgering, I'd probably use the Prowler, to be honest, because it's just because of how compact it is. But if I need that longer length of handle, say I'm trotting, say I'm using my 15 foot rod and I need that longer handle, then I shall go to this net. This is my go-to. This is my RVS Discovery folding specimen net. As you can see, it folds up, comes in its own carry bag. Now, obviously this is um, Angling Direct's own make, Advanta. But I do like this because it folds up, so it's good to get between swims, but you don't really want to sort of be putting it up and down all day. But if you've got a long walk somewhere, then it's very useful, but as you can see, it just hinges there. They do two sizes of this. This is the larger one. This is the 30 inch version. So that's a nice big net with nice generous mesh, as you can see there. And that's my go-to when I'm, as I say, when I'm fishing perhaps on the float, longer rod and I need that longer handle. Those are the three, <laughs> three main nets that I use when I'm out fishing. 
It's worth mentioning I've got one other net which I use on a regular basis um, and that's when I go pike fishing and that's my Advanta folding predator net. I used it fairly recently on a pike session. It's when I go pike fishing, I'm expecting to catch something perhaps 10 pound and above, a decent size fish. It's got a decent size frame on it. Um, it's 75 by 85 centimetres, nice deep mesh in it, rubberized again, so no smelly cars. Um, they dry very quickly. Uh, it got a lovely long handle on it. To be honest, it's a little bit too long because the weight of the net, um, obviously being that size, you can't actually pick the net up if you hold the end of the handle, end of the extension of the handle, but it does fold down as well. And as you can see here, it works really well when you're pike fishing. This fish weighs 15, 16 pounds, something like that. And uh, went in the net, no problem. And it does fold up lovely and small, which is a real benefit as well. So I hope that answers your questions about what landed nets I use and why I use them. Something, as I say, I get asked regularly about, so I thought I'd make this little short video and just explain my reasons for using them and the specifications of the nets and the handles. Now I'll be adding more content regularly on this channel. So uh, hopefully I'll see you again soon, but I hope that's answered your questions regarding my landing nets. And thank you very much for watching. Many thanks to the channel patrons for your wonderful support and I'll see you all again very soon.